Hubble PhD. And as an astronomer, I see the universe in everything that I do, including board games. In this series, I am looking at the game mechanisms as listed on BoardGameGeek and seeing where they remind me of the universe and how we study it. This time we're talking about line of sight. Line of sight is a mechanism where um, players can only target other enemy pieces if they are within their line of sight. Basically, their pieces need to be on a board in such a way that if they were in real life, they could see the enemy in order to target them. One game where this comes into play is in The Adventures of Robin Hood. In this game, Robin and his merry men can hide from the guards by staying within the shadows. But if they find themselves out in the open with a guard during the guard phase, they can be targeted by that guard and need to watch themselves. Another game where this comes into play is in Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. In this game, you can't target any, any enemies if they happen to be through a wall. You can only do it if you can see them and if they're within range of your weapons. Now in astronomy, line of sight made me think of gravitational lensing. This is something that happens when you have this massive object between us and something even more distant. The light from that distant object can get magnified and bent around that closer ginormous object, allowing us to see something that would normally be outside of our line of sight. This is something you may be familiar with. Uh, JWST recently uh, put out some images that show lensed galaxies, but also throughout the years, there have been some amazing images, um, especially from Hubble, showing lensed galaxies. Now, in the case of gravitational lensing, the massive object is kind of getting in the way of our line of sight, but it's working to our advantage. This trick of gravity is allowing us to see things that are more distant than we maybe could have seen otherwise and bring into view things that would otherwise be outside of our line of sight. So the next time you're playing a game and you're trying to target an enemy that happens to be out of your line of sight, you could maybe hope for a gravitational lens to be plunked in the middle of the game. It probably won't work though. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to continue this random walk through the board game mechanisms. Um, so be sure to like and subscribe to my channel so you know when the new videos come out. If you have any questions about this mechanism or the science behind gravitational lensing, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Or maybe gravitational lensing makes you think of something else. I'd love to hear about that too. Uh, otherwise, in the meantime, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter as MeeblePhD, and I, I have a blog at MeeblePhD.com. We'll see you next time.